In this video, I'll show you how to plot a hyperbola using a table of values and then graph. The question reads, plot the hyperbolic equation x times y is equal to negative 4 for values of x from negative 4 to positive 4. Find the foci. What I'll do is show you how to find the first three y's and then fill the table in automatically. So starting with x is equal to negative 4, I will substitute negative 4 into my x where I have negative 4 times y is equal to negative 4. Solving for y, I end up with y is equal to positive 1. Similarly, negative 3 times y is equal to negative 4. Dividing both sides by negative 3, I end up with 4 over 3. Let's do one more, and then the rest will be filled in automatically. Negative 2 times y is equal to negative 4. y is equal to positive 2. If you've done the rest correctly, your table should end up looking like this. Now that my table is complete, I can go ahead and plot these points. My first point was at negative 4 and 1. Negative 4 and positive 1 is over here. Negative 3 and 4 over 3, which is equal to roughly 1 decimal 3, is right over here. My next point is negative 2 and 2. Negative 2 and 2 is over here. Negative 1 and 4 is up here. At 0, we have no output. At x is equal to 1, we have negative 4. At 2, we have negative 2. At 3, we have negative 1 decimal 3. And lastly, at 4, we have negative 1. And as you can tell, this is a mirror image of this at 45 degrees. I'm going to connect these points as best as I can, and you should end up with something that looks like this. Now as you can tell, just from visual inspection, that the vertex lies at 2 and 2. So this point right here has the coordinates negative 2 and 2. And this vertex has the coordinates 2 and negative 2. From that, we can actually start to find our two focus. I know that the foci will lie somewhere in here and somewhere over here. We'll have two. To find our focus, we need our A and our B. Because remember, the formula for the focus is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And yes, that's the Pythagorean theorem. The a is the distance from the vertex to the center. So our center is at 0 and 0. And this right here will represent a. To find the distance from this point to this point, you can use the distance formula or simply use visual inspection. We know that these are one by one blocks. So the distance from here to here will be the square root of 2. Think of special triangles. We have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So the distance of one of these blocks in its diagonal is the square root of 2. The distance of two of them are 2 times the square root of 2. So we found our a. We can substitute that into there. And to find our b, our b value is the distance from the vertex at a right angle to this point. And it goes both ways. So we need to find our b value. And it's going to be the exact same thing as a. Notice that it's cutting through these one by one triangles through the diagonal. So your b value, this is our a value, will be the same thing. When you find your c, that tells you the distance from the center to the focus. So let's go ahead and substitute these values. We have c squared is equal to 2 times the square root of 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 times the square root of 2 also to the power of 2. And we'll square root both sides afterwards, giving us c. The square root of bracket 2 times the square root of 2 to the power of 2 plus bracket 2 times the square root of 2 bracket 2 gives us 4. Technically, this 4 represents the distance from this point to this point. Because remember, we use the Pythagorean theorem. That's a right triangle. And given the nature of a hyperbola, this represents the distance from the center to the focus. All we have to do now is find the coordinates of that focus. And to do that, notice that this is at a 45 degree angle. And we need to convert this radius 
two rectangular coordinates. And the way we do that is by using the formula x is equal to the radius times cosine at an angle. We know the radius is 4. And the angle we determined to be 45 degrees. And similarly, to find the y-coordinate, we'll use the radius times sine at that same angle. Sine of 45 with a radius of 4 gives us the following two answers. 4 times cosine of 45. Our x-coordinate will be 2 times the square root of 2. And since it's in the second quadrant, that's negative negative 2 times the square root of 2. And our y-coordinate will be 4 times sine of 45. And that gives us positive 2, the square root of 2. We'll leave it that way because sine is always positive here. So the coordinates of this focus, focus 1 we'll call it, is negative 2 in the square root of 2 and positive 2 in the square root of 2. The opposite is true for this one. Focus is positive 2 in the square root of 2 and negative 2 times the square root of 2. And so there you have it. That is how to plot a hyperbola using a table of values and graph.